Hello and welcome to Fernbank Science Center's The Sky This Week for December 5th through 10th, 2021. There might be a comet visible in the early part of this week. The moon is at first quarter by Friday, and in the middle of the week there are bright planets to look at in the evening sky. Start on early Sunday morning, December 5th, around 6 in the morning. Face the north part of the sky. If you're not sure which way is north for your observing spot, figure out which way the sun rises. That's toward the east. Put your right shoulder in that direction, and you'll be facing the north part of the sky. A pattern call, we call it the Big Dipper, seven fairly bright stars. This is going to be high in the sky and much larger than it looks on this diagram. The Big Dipper, seven stars, those two point toward Polaris, the North Star. And this area of the sky will be fun to look at with a telescope during the first part of the week. There's a comet, Comet Leonard, that is still fairly far away from the Earth. So we'll have to look at it through telescopes or good binoculars. Or you can be an amazing astrophotographer like Patrick Prokop in Savannah, Georgia, and take 30 images of the comet, two minutes each, stack them all together with your fancy software, and you get this gorgeous picture of the comet and M3, a beautiful little cluster, globular cluster of stars in the image as well. Now, this is not what it's going to look like to your eyes. Your eyes might see a little white smear on the sky with good binoculars in a really dark sky. But this is what it looks like sort of up close, as it were, with astrophotography. How do you get a name for a comet? We have to discover one, first of all. And traditionally, the naming goes with the type of object that it is first, for in this case, C for comet. You might discover a moon around another planet. Then it would be S for satellite. The next part of the name is the year that the comet or whatever was discovered. That was earlier this year that this comet was discovered. The half month of discovery is the next section, A for the first half of the month, one for the month of January. So during the first half of January, this comet was discovered by Greg Leonard, who's one of the research associates at the Lunar and Planetary Labs out in Arizona. If you go to the earthsky.org website, there are diagrams of where to look for this comet, courtesy Eddie Irizarry. And but remember where the Big Dipper is there. And if you follow that arc of the Big Dipper's handle toward the star Arcturus, fairly bright and also pretty high up in the sky, following where the long from the Big Dipper's handle. And there'll be that little smear of the comet might be visible right there near Arcturus. Now, comets move fast along their orbits. And five days later, if everything works the way it's supposed to, the comet will have passed Arcturus and be heading toward the other side of the sky. We can see the comet in the early morning sky right now in a while, if it stays visible, we'll be seeing it on in the evening sky. <clears throat> but remember, comets are like cats, according to David Levy. They do anything they want, and they both have tails. So we might be able to follow the comet along, or its orbit might change. Might be fun to see. By the middle of the week, there will be bright planets in the evening sky. This is exaggerated for the size of these. Venus will appear like a really bright star closest to the western horizon there. A thin crescent moon, waxing crescent, will be a little higher on the sky, near the star-like dot that is the planet Saturn. Jupiter will be the highest of the three. This is still fairly high toward the southwest part of the sky early in the evening. By Friday, the moon has moved along its orbit to first quarter phase. The light is on the right half of the moon. Some people call this a half moon, and half of the moon is lit up but we can only see half of that half. And it's moved a quarter of the way along its orbit. So this one is the first quarter moon. That'll be Friday, December 10th this year at 8.36 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And the moon should be fairly high in the sky and easy to see by that time. It's nice with binoculars to look at it as well. Look at the craters and ridges. 
On Saturday, December 11th, we offer an in-home planetarium program or at-home planetarium program, Mystery of the Christmas Star. It's going to begin around 7.30 with some live holiday music by renowned flautist, Dr. Tammy Evans. And then at eight o'clock will be the at-home planetarium program. It's on our Facebook page. So do keep an eye out for that if you get a chance. And as always, thanks so much for listening. We really appreciate your support of Fernbank Science Center. Hopefully we'll be able to reopen to the general public soon and welcome everyone back to our observatory and planetarium. Have a great week.